Fifth grade, chapter seven, lesson two, multiply fractions and whole numbers. Investigate. Martin is planting a vegetable garden. Each row is two meters long. He wants to plant carrots along three fourths of each row. How many meters of each row will he plant with carrots? So what we did was we have two holes and then we need to break this up into four pieces. So what's, if we took four pieces, what size pieces would have to, would we have to use to equal those two whole pieces? One half, One half size piece. So circle three-fourths of the two uh, of the model you drew. So we need to circle three of these four that we drew. So complete the number sitting. So this equals three halves or what is that simplified? One and one half. One and one half. So Martin will plant carrots along one and one half. meters of each row. Draw conclusions. Explain why you place the four fraction strips with the same denominator under the two one whole strips. Four one half size pieces equal two whole pieces. Number two, explain how you would model three tenths of two. We would use ten one fifth size pieces to model two and then circle three of the one fifth size pieces to get three fifths. <laughs> Make connections. In the investigate, you multiplied a whole number by a fraction. You can also use a model to multiply a fraction by a whole number. Margo was helping clean up after a class party. There were three boxes remaining with pizza in them. Each box had three-eighths of pizza left. How much pizza was left in all? So it says find three times three-eighths. So they gave us three different circles, right? And then each one has one-eighth size pieces in it. So what was left in each box? How many pieces do I color in? Five. Three. Each circle shows three eighths of the whole, right? The three circles all together, how many pieces all together did I color in? Nine. Nine. Eight. So three plus three plus three is? Nine. Nine eighths. Which also equals one and one eighth. One and one eighth. So nine eighths. Which also equals one and one eight eight. So Margo had one and one, one eight eighth boxes of pizza left. Sharon show use the model to find the product. So they said five six times three. So they gave us three holes, and then they said half size pieces would equal one hole. So then they said to circle five of the one half size pieces. So that would get us what? Five halves, or what else, guys? One, one, two, and one. Two and one half. Because two goes into five twice. Two times two is four. Five minus four is one. And then your denominator stays the same, right? Two times five, six. So how many of those six size pieces are colored in? Five. Not five. 10. So 10, 6, which also equals what? 1 and 4, one six. And four 6. 1 and 4, 6, which also equals 1 and 2 thirds. Two thirds. And then that would be my answer. Find the product. So 5 twelfths times 3. Now we could draw our fraction bar models. We could draw our fraction circle pieces and whatnot. It just takes a lot of time, okay? If we want to go around that, we can go ahead and work it out. We could take 5 twelfths times, and instead of putting 3, we know that that can also be written as a fraction as 3 over 1. So, what we can do then is we can go ahead and multiply that out. What is 5 times 3? 15. And then 12, because 12 times 1 is 12. What is that as a mixed number? 1 and 3 twelfths, right? 
which is also equal to one and one fourth, one fourth. So my answer would be one and one fourth. Now number four, how am I gonna write that? Nine over one times one third. Now over here, I had to simplify and keep simplifying, right? Okay, there is a way that we can simplify beforehand. Our nine and three, do they share a common multiple? Yes. Yes. What goes into both nine and three? Three. Three. Three goes into three how many times? Once. Once. Three goes into nine how many times? Three times. Three times. So three times one is? Three. Three. One times one is? So my answer is? Three. How am I going to write number five? Hey, can I simplify before I begin? Yeah. Yes. yes. I'm going to diagonal cross out my 4 and my 8. Because why do I go diagonally and not up and down vertically? Because then sometimes it's. You should have simplified before you started multiplying, right? If it was vertically. Diagonally, we're just getting it simplified a little bit quicker. So what goes into both four and eight? Four. Four, so four goes into four. Twice. Four goes into eight. Twice. Twice. Seven times one equals? Seven. Two times one equals? Three. So three. seven over two is also equal to? Three. three and one half. How am I going to write number six? Four over one. Times three fifths. Can I simplify before I begin working? Yeah. No. 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 Four times three is? Five. One times five is? Five. What does that equal? Two and two fifths. Number seven, how am I going to write that? Seven, seven eighths times two over one. Did I simplify before I begin? Yes. Yeah. Yep, so I can cross my 2 and my 8. What is the common multiple that they share? 2. 2. 2 goes into 2. Four. 2 goes into 8. 4. 2 times 1 is? Or 7 four. times 1 is? 7. 4 times 1 is? 4. What does that simplify down to? 1 and 3 fourths. 7 times 2 fifths. How am I going to write that? 7 over 1. Times? 2 fifths. Can I simplify before I start? No. No. 7 times 2 is? 14. 1 times 5 is? 5. What is that simplified? Uh, 2 and 4 fifths. Three eighths times 4 over or times four, how am I going to write that? Three times four over one. Okay, can I simplify before I begin? Yes. No. Yes. So I can cross out my four and my eight. What is the common multiple that they share? Four. Four. Four, four goes into four. Once. Four goes into eight. Twice. Three times one is? Three. Two times one is? Four. What is that simplified? One. one. How am I going to write number 10? 11 over 1 times 3 fourths. Can I simplify before I begin? No. 11 times 3 is? 3 fourths. 1 times 4 is? 4. What is that simplified? 8 and 1 fourth. 8 and 1 fourth because 8 times 4 is 32. 33 minus 32 is 1. So 8 and 1 fourth. How am I going to write number 11? Okay, can I simplify before I begin? No. Yes. Yes. What is a common multiple of 5 and 15? 5. 5. How many times does 5 go into 5? 5 into 15? 3. So 4 times 1 is? 4. 3 times 1 is? 3. What is that simplified? 1 and 